My whole life I've been an artist and my whole life I've been gay. So um, I've always kind of felt as an outsider from the gay community and an outsider from the heteronormative world that I was raised in. So when gay marriage got legalized in June of 2015, I I heard so many wonderful things, a lot of celebration in Kansas City, but I also heard some negative things. And I wanted to do a project that desensationalizes uh, queer issues um, and gives us kind of an honest perspective into what it's like to be queer in Kansas City and the Midwest and in the Bible Belt. So the project Gender Treason is an, an attempt to do that using art. Um, and it's kind of it's my way of saying what I've needed to say my whole life. And I'm letting other people do it for me because I can't speak on the issues of trans people because I'm not trans. I can't speak on the issues of people of color in the queer community because I'm not of a color. Um, but they can. And so I'm painting them and I'm telling their stories using art um, in a way that I, I can't. So I'm really excited for the opportunity to do that. The purpose of the body cast is to honor the fact that everybody in the project has shared an incredibly vulnerable aspect of their identity and of themselves. And so by me stripping down completely nude and having a replica of that made, I'm just showing that I too can be vulnerable and I too honor the vulnerability that they gave me. Never experienced pain quite that intense before. Um, so it was really mind over matter to a certain extent. Um, I really was trying to think about all the people that we lost in the Orlando shootings and like why I'm doing this and why it's important to speak out and like trying to like funnel that pain into a, a more powerful place instead of just focusing on the pain so it, it was intense and it was claustrophobic it was incredibly heavy I mean it was a lot of weights and just being in that position the blood couldn't circulate I, I was literally just dripping sweat inside of it it was really uncomfortable but I got through it Having the literary transcriptions of these people's stories next to a portrait of them kind of helps bond the person, the viewer, to the art piece a little bit more. So they're, they're looking at the actual person. This is a person. This isn't a concept. This isn't just reading a story. Like, you're looking at this person and also their story. And I feel like that is what really transforms the message and conveys the message. The main goal of this project is to give a realistic, rounded perspective of kind of the whole arc of what, it, what queer is. We have a lot of separation in the queer community. We don't really have a melting pot for everyone to go. And so I feel like I wanted to do something that brings everybody together all at once. And I think that's the main goal, is to like bring everybody together and realize that like we're just normal people trying to express ourselves the best that we know how and we don't want to do that in an unsafe place. And the way that you make a place safe and the way that you make a city safe is to educate people. I've always really disliked the word um, tolerance. I think tolerance is the bare minimum that someone can give another person who they disagree with. And what I'd really like is for gender treason to promote understanding and compassion. Just hearing a snippet of the experience of a queer person Regardless of what, what segment of queer that they fall under, I feel like that's an opportunity for growth and understanding, and I think that is what diffuses hate, and that's what diffuses uh, ignorance. The Orlando shootings very much affected me. It's, uh, for me, as close to walking by someone on the street and seeing that they're homeless and realizing that I'm just a couple paychecks away from being them and realizing that I'm just a couple states away from being them and like one, one bad setting away from being them. And the conversation that Gender Treason is introducing is a conversation of education and talking openly about the existence of queer people as opposed to trying to quiet it. It's time that queer people uh, are not just heard as far as equality, but heard as far as who we are and why we are the way we are. This type of education needs to happen, and I do think that gender treason is part of that uh, kind of global shift.